Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian here from Epic Gadgets. And which is better, the Kinect or the PlayStation Move? Now if you're like me, you own both consoles and you're a bit confused on which to get, you know, the Kinect or the Move, you know, based off the price, based off the games. And uh, I'm basically just going to be giving you the pros and cons of, you know, both the Kinect and PlayStation Move. So to start off, let's talk about the hardware. The, you know, the Kinect uses a new technology, use your whole body as compared, you know, to the PlayStation Move, where you're mainly just using your hands and your arms to play ping pong or something like that. Um, it's mainly up to you. Do you really want to use your whole body, you know, moving around, ducking, crouching, you know, getting on the floor, rolling around like an animal? Or you want to, you know, just want to be using your arms, being maybe a bit dull, just playing ping pong? It's really up to you and really, you know, how old you are. If you're a little kid, you don't mind jumping up and down at night. Maybe if you're someone older, you're really only limited to, you know, using your arms. Um, that's mainly it on the hardware, you know, front. Also, you know, the Kinect has a bit of a bigger sensor bar. That really doesn't play any effect in, into, you know, when playing, you know, any games or anything. You don't really get as lost as, you know, when playing the PlayStation Move. But when playing the PlayStation Move, you really don't get lost at all. You know, the sensor always seems, you know, to keep you on track, if you know what I mean. Now, for the design, the Kinect... Um, really just allows you to use your hands to scroll there's really no buttons there's voice command which is really cool but you really don't need it but it is a cool option if you want it um, there is a bit of lag when saying it. it does take like a one or two seconds later after you say it. if you say start pause it does take maybe a couple seconds to react but really no big deal and it's a really cool option that the PlayStation Move does not have but a big thing is like a lot of games coming out for the PlayStation Move use buttons and that's gonna really limit to what Kinect can do there's not a whole lot of games out now for Kinect that really seem interesting to most gamers. And since there's no buttons, it's really going to limit them on to what kind of games they can, you know, make. They're trying to do something totally new that, you know, no one's really done before. But um, it's going to be, you know, cool to see what, you know, things they come up with do, you know, due to there being no buttons. You know, because most games you do need buttons to have fun. Um, you know, like most shooting games and things like that. Racing, you know. I don't know how they're going to do it, because in here, basically, uh, for Connect Adventures, all you are, you know, doing is jumping, ducking, and that. And, there, you know, there's a limit to how many games they can make with the same idea of that. But with Move, there's all these extra buttons and analog sticks on the controller that they can, you know, put into their games as well. So, you know, really, you know, not limit limiting them like uh, Connect. Um, so let's talk about the games. Um, you know, for the games, I'm really, you know, worried about Connect. Um, for Connect, it really seems to be more for on the lines of little kids, moms, no offense. Um, these Wrath games are really uh, kind of fun and all, but once you play them once or twice, that's it. It really gets boring and old. And they got games like Connect the Malls where you're basically like a tiger or a cub or something like that, or a sheep, and you're rolling on the ground pretending you're a tiger or something like that. And that's really just more on the lines of being a kid. But for PlayStation Move, they you know they're incorporating it in their all their old games or some of their old games and all their new games like shooting, racing, fighting, and you know a lot of sports games. And you know they're bringing back ping pong, which is probably the most you know popular, and like tennis, like the Wii. And you know Connects is just, is just trying to really do its own thing and you know doing games that have not been made yet. When they should be doing games that people like you know the most, like I said, ping pong and tennis and that sort of thing and bowling. Move has that all. Um, so I really have to give that to, you know, to the move because it's got more hardcore games, kind of more like for the more hardcore gamers and, you know, connects more of like a family type of thing, you know. You're not going to, you know, want to play this with a bunch of like 17 year olds really. It's fun, but I really have to, you know, say the PlayStation Move is better in that category when it comes to, you know, better games. Now for the cost, they're basically around the same price. Uh, the Kinect costs about $150. If you want any, you don't really need any controllers and you can just, you know, play if it out of the box. But with the Move, you do need to, you know, buy some other controllers. And uh, once, you know, buy all the accessories you need, it really adds up to about $150 or more. So, you know, with both consoles, you know, with both, you know, the Kinect and Move, they're about the same price once you buy all the accessories together. The Move bundle's $100, but, you know, keep in mind that you need to buy extra controllers and things like that. So, like I said, they're around the same price. And uh, don't really worry about, you know, paying, you know, more money for one of them, even though the price tag is cheaper or more. Because by the end, you're going to spend the same amount anyway. Um, now, for the number of players, you can only play two on the Connect, which is pretty bad. Like The whole point of Connect is, you know, have a bunch of people over and, you know, have a party and play with it. Um, usually at a party, there's two or more people, you know. So I don't see how it can work out. People have to wait, you know, take turns. But with Move, there's up to four people. But if you want four people, you're going to have to spend, you know, 50 to $40 on each controller. And that's going to get a bit more expensive than the Connect. 
So you have to think about that. But it's really cool because people can play, uh, you know, bring over their move controllers. And uh, and it would all work out and more people can play at once. So it's really up to you. But if you're not having a, you know, a whole lot of people come over to your house often, the Kinect might be better. But, you know, just think about the games and the cost and all that really, you know, just runs into it. So overall, both the Kinect and PlayStation Move are really awesome. And, you know, it just really ends up, you know, to what you want. Do you want a more hardcore console or do you want more of a family-oriented, uh, you know, accessory? Sorry, I said console, but you, you guys know what I mean. So it's really up to you guys. So, I guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Also, follow me on Twitter for my latest news and content. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.